This video is brought to you by Sleeping Duck. Check out the range of mattresses at sleepingduck.com. Hey guys, welcome back to George's Woodshop and welcome back to this sponsored build from Sleeping Duck Mattresses. Now this is part two of the build series, so if you haven't seen part one, make sure you click this card and watch that video first. Otherwise it may be a little bit weird because we're just about to kick off from where we left, which was shaping these beautiful curved legs. Alright, that's the rear legs done and basically we're going to get on to assembling this thing. Now I've got a domino machine so I'm going to be using dominoes but really what is the ideal joint for this bed assembly is just dowels. So if you've got a dowel jig, clamp it on and go three dowels per leg or I should say per joint and you'll be laughing. on to the gulop now which is going to be a little bit interesting because we've got this big radius but I've come up with a solution which I think will work and that is using a big ratchet strap or a truck strap to cinch this thing together. Now because this is an L-shaped leg I've also cut in the infill piece for the rear here which you'll see in just a minute which will stop the legs from the outer collapse in on themselves and make sure that we get a nice tight joint on the front. But fingers crossed that this all goes well. It is going to be interesting, but I think we'll go well. Okay, well that did not go to plan at all. The strap just couldn't get the pressure needed to close these gaps. And as you can see, I've come up with a real just throw together arrangement here. So I've clamped some blocks onto the outside of the legs and basically just kept throwing clamps at it until everything would hold and I could close those gaps. And now I've got nice tight closed joints and everything should dry nicely. That's uh, basically everything except two major things done for this bed. One, the blocks which will allow us to use bed brackets on this bed. And two, is all of the stock for the headboard. And that's what we're going to get onto now. So while that dries, we've got to do one minor alteration to this leg assembly because I wasn't able to locate a style of leg bracket or bed bracket that was going to work for this style of base. So basically this is a style of bed bracket that we have to use. Not to worry, because all it means is I glue in a block like this, which is flush mount. It gives us a little bit of extra support for this mitered piece. And that piece gets screwed on there. This piece gets screwed on the rail and we just continue on like it never happened. So while that panel was drying, I had to think about how I was going to attach this thing. And originally I was going to do a long groove and solid dado. And uh, you know what, that's too much. So what I'm doing is pocket screw. So I went ahead and I glued up the part of the headboard assembly that needed gluing. And then by the time that was all said and done, this was ready to be taken out of the clamps and I gave it a good sanding and got rid of all of that glue squeeze out. So now I'm at the panel four and I'm gonna rip this panel, or I should say cross cut this panel down to its final width. And uh, we'll get on to trying to get this to conform to that curve. And I'll show you how I'm gonna try and achieve that. 
Now attaching it is going to be kind of difficult but not impossible. So I've got it laid out my bench here and I've also got this assembly clamped down so it can't move. And basically what I have to do is position the panel so it's in the correct position and also the correct spacing. And the correct spacing is so that the straight edge on the curved front is slightly above it. And that is so we can actually shape the straight edge or the straight face to match this contour and we'll do that with a combination of files and a belt sander as well. Now I'm not going to glue it in here, we're just going to rely on the screws to hold it together. I think it will be plenty and that way it gives us the option to remove this panel and change the style of bed head if we feel like doing so. So if we wanted to go an upholstered bed head for example. Alright, so the headboard is attached, but now we have to curve it. So it's elbow grease, hand planes, and then maybe a belt sander. Alright, well I left it there for the weekend, now it's Monday, back to it. Alright, so we're using these bed brackets here to assemble it all, and I'm just spacing it up by roughly one mil, maybe, maybe one and a half mil, and that just makes sure we get a bit of tension when we cinch these up. So this is the center support and the way it's held in place is just with these little blocks I made off camera. So basically a square block, four holes and a notch cut out. So it basically cradles the center support and really what does all the holding power is the two legs that get added onto this. This is just the index in place. So that's that one done, do the same on the other side. Little trick I'm doing here is a framing square with a blue tape, that's marking the height of the top edge. So I move this along to each point where a screw is driven in, and that way I can make sure that this is straight, but also at the correct height to match the center support and the other side, that way we have a nice level mattress. Alright, so while the lacquer dries on the bed frame, I thought we might as well have a quick look at this mattress. Now, the thing I found really cool about these mattresses is you can customize the firmness level on it. 
and you can even make it half and half. So if your partner likes a soft mattress and you like a firm mattress or vice versa, you can actually order the mattress to have a firmness, firmness layer customized for that. So you can have a firm side and a medium side and you know everyone's happy and I found that really cool. Another thing you might notice is it comes in a square box and it's a king size mattress. So if you live in a hard to get to apartment or you live downstairs or something like that, this makes life so much easier. Instead of a two person job to try and get a mattress into your room, you can move this straight in and not have to worry about taking out every piece of furniture in your living room. And there we have it, a beautiful king size bed and I have to say I'm pretty damn happy with the outcome. Now remember if you want to build along with this I have made a set of plans available which you can purchase through my website and if you're a patron you get those for free. A massive thank you to Sleeping Duck for sponsoring this build and remember if you want $100 off your next Sleeping Duck mattress use the link that's in the description below and you'll get $100 off. That also lets them know that I sent you there. Now if you want to see a few more supplementary things about this bed, I've added a few videos over on my second channel which got cut out of these videos because it was getting a bit too long. So head over to my second channel if you want to see those. Now if you like this video make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Also click that subscribe button and also share it around so you know this can get some traction and we can share what I do. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.